Alright guys, welcome to the video. Guess what? The slippery slope is rearing its ugly head more and more every day now. Here we have a very concerning story, but once again not something that's going to shock me or many of you. In fact, many of us actually said this would happen, and guess what? It turns out it already is. Yes, a while back people said the NHS facial app recognition nonsense could be used by the police, with the government back then saying no it won't and all this nonsense, your data and privacy is protected, blah blah blah. This is obviously bullshit as we know and this article here now proves. COVID-1984, NHS admits VaxPass app is sharing users facial recognition data with the police. So, one of the reasons people had gone against the NHS app and Medical Pass is now part of it and they're freely gonna admit it. This of course holds wider implications for the data being used by security services with all of the data shared between five countries including the USA, Canada and Australia, the world's greatest authoritarian hellhole in 2021. It goes on though, Britain's socialised healthcare system, the National Health Service, has admitted that it is sharing facial recognition with police from the NHS app which is now being used as the UK's Vax passport. First though, I've got to say that that is wrong, it's not a National Health Service, it's a fucking religion, you know, to the sheeple of this country and the politicians. I'm waiting for them to actually start singing RNHS who cost you a fortune, hallowed be thy name, your death will come, our staff will dance as you float up to heaven. And let's be honest, after last year's TikTok cringe fest, anything is possible, so that certainly is. But all jokes aside, apparently 16 million idiots abused the app with facial recognition software coming from Tory donors, The Guardian claims. Which obviously means government ministers have been helping out their friends where they can, it seems. Something we already suspected, let's be honest. But to back up what I've said earlier, it literally states the National Health Service and IPROV have claimed that the data collected is anonymised and put under strict privacy protocols. However, an NHS spokesman admitted to the paper that facial recognition and other data is shared with law enforcement agencies, with the caveat that a special panel reviewed such decisions. And let's be honest, a special panel means nothing to me and probably like it does to none of you lot these days. And let's be honest, the app is meant for medical purposes, so not relating to the police in any way, making this whole thing stink to eye heaven like we all knew it would before they confirmed it. But as predicted, the NHS app seems to be more about control and surveillance than it does about health, something we all said many months ago. For now though, that's all I have on this story we've got here. Remember to check out the links down below to support the channel on other platforms, and I'll see you all in the next one.